This is All India Radio Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Sandeep and Chakravarti. Elections for 19 Rajya Sabha seats, including one each in Meghalaya, Manipur and Mizoram, are being held today. The Rajya Sabha election to Mizoram's lone seat will witness a triangular contest. The ruling Mizo National Front has fielded the party's National Core Committee member K. Kanlalvena as the candidate for the biennial election. The Zoram People's Movement and the Congress nominated B. Lalchan Zova and Dr. Lalian Chunga, respectively. Polling is being held at the Assembly Secretariat between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m., observing social distancing norms as per the Election Commission's directive to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Counting will also be held today. Polling for the lone Rajya Sabha seat from Meghalaya is being held today with the ruling National, pa National People's Party NPP setting up its state president Dr. Wanwei Roy Karluki as its candidate. Opposition Congress has fielded former legislator Kennedy Cornelius Kiriam for the straight contest. Six political parties including an independent legislator supporting the NPP-led Meghalaya Democratic Alliance government have reaffirmed their support to Dr. Karluki who is the consensus candidate for the ruling alliance. Prime Minister Narendra Modi yesterday reviewed the situation arising out of Oil India Limited oil, oil well blowout and fire in Bagjan in Tinsukia district of Assam. The Prime Minister assured people of Assam that the government of India is fully committed to providing support and relief and rehabilitation to the affected families. Mr. Modi also directed the Petroleum and Natural Gas Ministry to study and document the incident so that the findings become useful in nature in, in future. Capacities and expertise should be developed within all organizations to avoid such mishaps in future, he said. The review meeting was attended amongst others by Home Minister Amit Shah, Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas Dharmendra Pradhan and Chief Minister of Assam Sarbananda Sonwal. After nine MLAs including three from BJP, four of the National People's Party NPP and one from Trinamool Congress and an independent withdrew support from the N. Biren Singh government in Manipur, the Congress-led coalition Secular Progressive Front has decided to move a no-confidence motion against the BJP-led state government. Leaders of the Congress met Governor Nejma Habtullah yesterday requesting her to convene a special session of the Assembly to move the motion. The party also submitted a letter to the Speaker of the Manipur Legislative Assembly. NPP leader and former Deputy Chief Minister Y. Joy Kumar said N. Biren Singh led government's handling of the COVID-19 situation and interference in ministries handled by the party's ministers were reasons why they decided to withdraw support to the government. There has been a steady stream of recovery of COVID-19 patients in Meghalaya over the past few days with active cases coming down to 10 yesterday. Meghalaya has so far recorded 43 COVID-19 positive cases including one death, 10 active and 32 recoveries. In Nagaland, six more patients have come out negative of COVID-19 in their second test taking the recovery rate to 56%. With no positive tests reported yesterday, the total number of COVID-19 cases in Nagaland remains at 193. Out of this, the total number of active cases are 84, while 109 people have recovered. New Zealand has been included among eight states where Kelo India State Center of Excellence will be set up. According to the announcement made by Union Sports Minister Kiran Rijiju, Aizawl Sports Academy at Rajiv Gandhi Sports Complex in Aizawl's Mualpui locality will be developed as a center of excellence. Chief Minister Zoram Thanga said this will be a platform for multiplying existing talents in the northeastern region towards India's dream of excellence in the Olympics. Mizoram Sports Minister Robert Romayo Royte has also conveyed his sincere appreciation of the new initiative by the Union Youth Affairs and Sports Ministry. A medium-intensity earthquake measuring 5 on the Richter scale rocked the northeastern states at 7.30 p.m. yesterday. The epicenter was tracked at a depth of 80 kilometers from the Earth's surface at a place in Champai district of Mizoram. The tremor was failed in all major cities, cities in the northeast, but there was no immediate report of any damages. The number of novel coronavirus cases in Arunachal Pradesh has crossed the 100 mark with four border roads task force personnel testing positive for the infection yesterday. The new cases have taken the virus count in Arunachal to 103, of which 93 are active and 10 persons have recovered. 
And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from All India Radio Shillong. Have a nice day.